Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 25th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Morning Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and everything that is affecting humanity. Right now we have two Earth-facing sunspots, not very active, not very big either. Looking here at the last 48 hours incoming images. Some plasma still whipping around the southern regions of the sun. We also have a coronal hole that has developed. And those small sunspots stay semi-active. Small CME ejected from the southern region. And we do have an incoming coronal hole that is going to be earth-facing. Looking here at another light, you can really see it. And as well, the small CME from the bottom uh, sunspot. And here are combined images. Able to see pretty much everything. The flashes, the filaments, the coronal holes there. Looking here, last co 2 image. Catching the last few images of the last CME ejected from the sun. Real-time solar wind. We are steady at about 436 kilometers per second. We did see a small spike over the last seven days to five to 561, but we are still steady at about 400 to 500 range. Looking here at the Schumann residence for today, a power of 31, quality of 16. So keep sharing and caring, my friends and family. The frequency is alive. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours, pretty busy across the North American plate just recently here in Norwich, Kansas, a 2.5 as well. Arcadia, Oklahoma, 2.8. Looking at earthquakes throughout the region of California as well. Small swarm in the geysers. That was the last seven days. This is the last 24 hours. So definitely some rumbling happening in the geysers of California. Cobbs as well as seeing earthquakes all across the coast. Alaska quieting down a little bit. 4.9 earthquake recorded here in Russia, as well as 4.9 in the Philippines. 4.9 India plate, and as well as 4.5 and a 4.9 Myanmar. Afghanistan rocking a 4.2 and as well Indonesia 4.9 5.1 here in Yogo village Guam 5.3 Southeast Indian Ridge south of Australia as well a 5.2 here Pacific Antarctic Ridge earthquakes everywhere these days across Hawaii Lalani Estates Hawaii as well, Fern Forest and Pahala, all active. Seeing minor quakes throughout the day. As well, a 4.6 there in Mexico, just above Coco's Plate. Minor earthquakes still rumbling through Puerto Rico. And as well, Dominican Republic. One lonely 3.9 earthquake here in South America, San Antonio, Chile. And then interesting earthquakes here, 4.4 .4 earthquake, Africa, and as well a 4.1 here, Dem Democratic Republic, on both sides of two very active volcanoes, near Miragira and near Amerigongo. 4.3 there as well reported, Europe, 
pretty quiet across the African and Europe plate. Looking here the last seven days, as it's been pretty quiet recently for earthquakes. Expecting some big rumbles here through the Philippines and up into the Indian plate and across Africa up into Europe. As all of these most recent quakes in the northern hemisphere have increased, especially through Iceland. As they saw 5.4 the other day and many earthquakes all around just northeast of a pretty sizable volcano. Look forward to a volcano talking about that. Stay tuned to the morning dew and stay aware and prepared. Have a plan. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. We're going to be starting out here looking at Calgary, Alberta, where we're still seeing a temperature swing here, roller coaster ride, per se, over the next few days. But the cold temperatures are still trying to push in from the north. You can see here in the long range forecast getting colder and quite a big system heading towards Alberta here. Warm temperatures ahead of it, as always, with these specific systems. But then cold temperatures and snow coming in behind. Quite possibly could see 15 centimeters of snow by the time this storm is over through parts of southern Alberta and central, moving into Saskatchewan and Man Manitoba. But this forecast is also going to affect parts of eastern Canada. As an Alberta clipper forms, quickly moves east and collects with a gulf system which is going to bring some extreme weather to the United States and across eastern Canada this system is going to bring quite a bit of snow and blizzard-like conditions to Ontario, Quebec and the Atlantic provinces and watch for those cold temperatures to swing down behind it across the, the, the United States but it's going to be quite a battle as I said this is going to be a gulf system thrown eastward and then there's another one coming in the five-day forecast here so watch for extreme weather across the southeastern United States Gulf states the next five days day after day you will see stormy conditions as you have two systems affecting you and the cold polar vortex trying to swing down yet again across the BC interior watch for a lot of snow and cold temperatures, extreme cold temperatures still hanging around north parts of Northwest Territories in the Yukon, affecting Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Northern Alberta. Big systems in the Pacific right now. Vigorous and large low pressure system here coming out of Southern Kamchatka. Gonna be hitting Alaska and Northern BC in the long range forecast. Stay tuned to the dew for that one. As well, pretty big system coming out of Korea is going to be affecting parts of Tokyo, Japan. Five day forecast, quite a system rolling through there. Watch for uptick in seismicity through the region. As well, a pretty intense system moving into Russia as well. Large low pressure system here affecting parts of Eastern Europe and then into Russia in the long range forecast but it's going to bring down those extreme temperatures that are just east of it in the high pressure ridge these systems keep exchanging with each other and traveling across the northern hemisphere crazy stuff same system spinning around the globe for a long time overlooking Europe high pressure ridge in place so mostly dry throughout central and uh, northward westward towards the United Kingdom and Spain parts of Algeria watch for cold temperatures possible snow in higher elevations Africa not much to talk about except for the heat that will be moving in later in the week already quite a few wildfires breaking out through central regions and as well watch for daily evaporation rains and accompanied with a low pressure system here parts of South Africa and Madagascar one tropical system to talk about it has not been named yet actually it just now has tropical cyclone 22 is alive but no name but there is also a cyclone here forming in the long range forecast parts of Northwest Territory Australia daily evaporation rains heavy towards New Caledonia Papua New Guinea 
and as well Fiji regions. Watch for an atmospheric of river moisture, atmospheric river of moisture to affect you guys in the five day forecast. And you could see a tropical system form parts of Northeast Queensland and Northeast Australia here, long range forecast, big system forming for you as well as Fiji. So Southern hemisphere ramping up for systems. Stay aware and prepared, my Australian friends. I have a lot of Australian followers, and I thank each and every one of you for tuning in to Morning Dew and choosing this channel to stay aware and prepared. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards northern Brazil and parts of the border with Colombia. Coastal regions watching some intense rain moving in as well through the mountainous regions, regular culprits. Paraguay, Bolivia, intense system moving into parts of southern Argentina. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, all of the big systems that are affecting our planet right now, and watch as the same systems are continuing to spin around the hemispheres right now and really changing the dynamics of our jet streams and everything that is happening on our planet. And gee, I wonder why. Well, there's many articles coming out about it recently, and everybody's recently talking about the geomagnetic reversal, quite possible a pole flip. Magnetic reversal, everybody's talking about the grand solar minimum now, and I have been doing this and broadcasting for almost five years on YouTube, talking about this. And to see all of it coming to fruition, is kind of freaky but i'm happy that i'm on top of it and i'm happy that i've got over 23,000 people who think like me want to know like me and are weather junkies like me i wanted to also put in here the pacific disaster center show you all of the most recent volcanoes that have been updated because today has been a very busy day for volcanoes. Starting out here with Pekaya, Guatemala, Sangay, Sabincaya, Dakono, Ibu, Rung, Fuego. A few landslides as well being reported. Popo in Mexico, Etna in Italy, Suista Najima, Sinabung, Semeru, Era. More avalanches, more avalanches. Shevlach in Russia. So that's about 16 volcanoes being updated today. And as I reported two days ago, we have 48 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Extreme cold temperatures persisting through Canada. And as well, this unknown, unnamed system, which will not even be affecting humanity unless it keeps moving westward, which I don't think it will, as we saw in the five-day forecast. So a little surprise for you all, as I give you a quick here update on the high surf and high wind advisories for Hawaii. I want to thank all of the members and supporters of this channel. I am greatly appreciative and feel blessed to have all of you a part of this channel. So this last little clip is for all of the memberships. And thank you. Thank you, Eve. Thank you, Miss Bliss. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Marcia Pollock. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, CH Gamer. Thank you, Mega. Thank you, Volcano Time Lapse. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Miss Donna C. I want to thank you, and I appreciate it. And this is going to go to making and creating better content with daily events worldwide keeping you aware and prepared to daily events around the planet again I am so grateful to have all of you birds of a feather flock together let's do this together okay there is a lot of information coming out recently and we've I've got some big videos coming up so memberships please get them because these will be membership only videos I'm gonna leave you here looking at well, the next 10 days forecast for snow across most of Canada, United States, 
all higher elevations across the planet, receiving record amounts of snow and cold temperatures. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.